Recently, government introduced 28% tax on poultry feeds to eliminate poor quality feeds on the market. However, this left people in poultry feed unbearable and have appealed to government to reduce the tax. The, the birds, the birds strike. If a, if a bird has not gotten feed for one day, it will strike for, for, for like three weeks. Richard Chirabira, a poultry farmer in Wobulenzi, calls for mediation between government and poultry stakeholders for an amicable solution. We, as farmers, we can solve our problems. The only thing the government should do is to work with us. Consult us, ask us, where are we doing raw and uh, where are we not doing... He also appealed to government to impose high taxes on imported feeds to allow local producers sell their products competitively. A case in point, chicken brought from South Africa, a broiler chicken brought from South Africa, it is cheaper than the one we produce here in Uganda. Deal with the, 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 the cost, the tax, to try to protect us from the foreign products that are coming in to compete with us. A poultry feeds trader, George William Kayondo, says since government introduced the 28% increments on poultry feeds, many containers are held on borders. Really stuck. Eh? Even for those that have gotten the little containers, what to do? Even when we are in parliament, still ULA was not clear, was not changing its stand that they, are, they, are, they will not collect. Because you are committing to collect in the future. What are we going to do? What price should we give our constituents? Then fortunately, when we go to the market, because I told you I sell premium pork products as well, there is no way we can extend it. Kenya is sending here pork. So if mine is very expensive, it means there is an alternative. So are you chasing me away from business? How am I going to survive Government first imposed 10% tax on poultry feeds and later added 18% as a countermeasure against adulterated feeds flooding the market. Brian Tumwinebiaruhanga, Andrew Sebira, UBC News.